Hello, Scorpio, and welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your monthly reading for June. I have meditated upon the cards, and I have pre-shuffled. As always, though, I will shuffle live. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who stuck around with me while I did not have video um, all of... Uh, May. So I truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I really, I really am grateful for you guys uh, sticking around. All right. I was trying to make do with what I had while I was, you know, juggling other things. So thank you so very much. All right. What do we have? We have Dragon's Lair. Ooh. Okay. Very interesting card. You know, for a lot of you, I want to show it to you. For a lot of you, I'm getting the sense that you may be in a situation where it may look ideal, but really it's not. Um... It's like there is a darkness in, you know, hidden in little crevices here and there. And not like little darknesses. I mean, th this is like threatening things like, you know, like a dragon, you know, this, I don't know what this is, but it reminds me of like that, um, the mentor thing in Harry Potter, like it's super creepy. Um, but that that's what I'm getting here. It's, it's like you're, it looks like from the outside world, like you're in an idyllic situation, but for you, it feels threatening or gloomy or, um, not as ideal. It's definitely not as ideal as you may consider others consider it to be. Okay. You know, it's like, it reminds me of when people post on, sorry, I have an itch in my eye. Um, it's like when people post things on Facebook, but they only post their highlights, right? They don't post all kinds of other things. You know, they don't post, oh, my daughter failed third grade, you know, something like ridiculous. It's like nobody needs to know that, you know, but they'll certainly show, oh my gosh, you know, this is their first um, recital, blah, 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 you know, like things like that. So it's, it's like people only see your highlights. They don't really see what's going on on the inside, right? So again, this could be, you know, you showing up in... Uh, or appearing to be a positive person, but really, you know, maybe there's a lot of things that you're trying to work through. You know, maybe you uh, appear to be in an idyllic situation at home, but maybe your spouse isn't fabulous, or maybe your marriage, maybe your spouse is fine, but maybe the marriage isn't. Um, and maybe you have a nice home, but maybe, you know, one of you lost your jobs and maybe you're not able to keep up the job, right? Um, maybe you are the picture perfect, um, uh, perfect picture of health, but maybe, you know, you're ill, you know, whatever that looks like, you know, maybe it looks like you have the best job ever, but really it's, it's filled with stress. Right. Maybe for some of you, you could be looking at an, um, a situation and it looks ideal, but really is it though? Now, maybe you have to take a closer look, right? So put it into your, into your, um, what is that called? Into your energies, the way, you know, into your story into your life. Plug that in into your life, however that needs to resonate with you. 
You know, it's funny. These three cards came out in uh, Pisces reading. I believe. I believe. These three cards came out in Pisces. But you saw me. I shuffle in between. And you see me shuffling. And here they are again. That's very interesting. Out of all these cards, all of these, those show up. So very interesting. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Six of Swords in reverse, and King of Cups in reverse. Ooh, a lot of Kings, Pentacles, Swords, and Cups. Can we get the Wands too? What's, what's going on here? Oh no, that's just kidding. That's not a King, that's a Knight. I don't know what I'm saying here. I got confused by that K. All right. Remember how I was talking about the dragon's lair? How something seems ideal, but really you're kind of ignoring other things. You're smelling. You're only seeing one thing. You or others, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But really there's so much more. So much more going on here. Right? Maybe this is you seeing something that could be idyllic, but is it really? Is it really? You know, if we're looking at this emperor, maybe you're looking at this emperor situation, right? It could, it could be a pretty one. There's the wands, <laughs> but it's a queen. Um, if you're looking at this emperor, look how menacing it looks almost. Yeah, I never really noticed that, but look, how, look at its eyes. Is it focused? Hold on. I can't tell whether it's focusing or not. Right? And is it focusing? I can't tell. Well, whatever. There it is. It's it's menacing to me. I never noticed that about this particular emperor. You know, maybe it's showing it's good side, but really it's, it's not, you know what I mean? Maybe it's pretending to be in Hugglepuff when really it's in Slytherin, you know, going back to the Harry Potter theme. <laughs> Sorry guys. I just, I've been watching Harry Potter. What can I tell you? Uh, movies are good. I don't know. It's just, they are. Be careful of seeing past something or maybe this is something that has already happened maybe you passed some you overlooked something only to find out later on that it wasn't um an ideal situation maybe this person was too controlling uh too rigid too I don't even know why I'm shuffling these cards. I'm already done with these cards. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. What's going on? What's going on? I got Harry Potter on my brain. And I feel like you risked a lot. You risked a lot to be with this person, only for this person to make you feel like this. We have the King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Chariot. All right, so I'm getting a couple of different things here. 
Do you see the similarities in these two? This person had a way of twisting the truth. That's not really what the King of Swords means. So it's not accurate, but that's what I'm getting. That's the hit that I'm getting. That's the intuitive hit that I'm getting. It's like this person twisted the truth. They manipulated um, the truth in order as like smoke and mirrors. This person was smoke and mirrors. It's like they elevated themselves by belittling you or they elevated themselves by um, playing the, uh, the like more by being more grand or pretending to be more grand, playing more grand than what they actually are. Right? Maybe they're really a page and they're pretending to be king. You know what I mean? But either way, this, I'm getting the sense that this, you kept asking this person um, to see what they're doing. And it felt like this person's like, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? You're nuts. You know, I'm not doing anything. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. That's the story I'm getting. And in, 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 that's the that's story I'm getting. I don't know if you saw that, but that just happened like, like that. I'm surprised the tower didn't pop out. I'm also getting with this five of pentacles that, that this person left you out in the cold. This person focused on your weaknesses and they made you feel like this. And this person's cunning. Whoever this person was, they're cunning. Don't worry about it. You're the queen of wands, my dear Scorpio. Male, female. This is not gender specific. It's just an energy. You chose to move on. If you haven't chosen to move on yet, you will. I mean, technically, it's completely up to you. You, cho you choose, don't choose, whatever. Don't matter. But oh, I just noticed the pyramids in the back. Right? Look at the pyramids. Look at the dragon's lair. Okay. What's supposed to be a castle is really a dragon's lair. Look at this person is leaving it all behind. They're like, mm -mm, it isn't worth it. Ace of coins, five of wands, eight of wands, four of swords. You know? Here's your new beginning. It could be a solid new offer coming in as well, but I'm seeing a new beginning. The story that I'm getting with this particular five of wands is that, okay, a couple of things. The main one that, that came to me immediately was that fact that this person, this past person kept coming to you, or maybe they haven't yet. Maybe they are coming back to you and say, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. I want to get better. I'm so sorry. I want to get better. And they want to work through it. But really, again, all smoke and mirrors. It's only going to be a struggle. It's only going to be a constant battle. Just conflict and conflict and conflict. I'm getting, I'm also getting the fact that this person involves other people in your life when they have no business. And oftentimes they're a cause of conflict as well.
But honestly, I'm getting that these people don't even matter to you anymore. So it doesn't even matter. You're moving on. Like you're on a fast track to this. You're on the fast track to this. Rest, relaxation, recuperation, healing, all of the goodness. I love, the, I mean, I don't like this at all, like at all, but here we are, you moving forward. Let's focus on this half right here, okay? Be careful of this though, okay? So just caca right here, just caca. Focus on this. You're the queen of wands, all right? Going this way, we have the nine of pentacles, queen, uh, king of the swords, and ace of pentacles. Maybe this person um, showed you, um, gave you their time and attention at first, you know, like, um, like love bombing you. <laughs> it's, I know, that's the word I got. It's like they were love bombing you. It's like, oh, I love you. You're amazing. You're spectacular. But all of it was so that you can only focus on this, but not on this other windy bull caca that's going on. Look, they're not even planted right. I'm sure that that's how this plant's supposed to be, but that isn't the point. The point is that, you know, they're, they're not well-rooted is really what I'm trying to say here. They're not a well-rooted person. This person is missing, a, they're missing a lot. They're really a knight, but they pretended to be a king. They tried to swoon you, and they did, they swoon you. They tried to be a king, but all they did was just nonsense. But I do get the feeling that you stood up for yourself and chose a new beginning. You left this person back. Emperor, five of pentacles, five of wands. Five's new beginning. Change. I love it. I love it. Listen, this emperor person, this really rigid, and they could have been a person. It could be a, a job, all right? It could be a friend. It could be a family member. Place it into your life scenario the way it needs to be. You know, not everybody's situation is the same. This rigid, controlling individual made you feel like this. They kept focusing on your on your weaknesses, they, and they kept on your um, yeah, on your weaknesses, and they kept chipping away at it. And they're they constantly just bickered about the most dumbest things. Not only that, it's like they talk, 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 but they really weren't saying anything. It's like they talk to hear themselves talk. That's not what the five of wands is. That's just the story I'm getting in my head. Talk. Look, even here, I'm getting like he's having his own monologue. And this person, you know, you saying, can you just get to the point, please? Like, hurry up. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. The six of swords in reverse, queen of wands and eight of wands. Listen, the moment you cut ties and you sever yourself and you move on from this situation, the quicker you move on from the situation, the quicker you come into your own power, your own strength. You might not have a lot. The queen of wands ha is the least, um, it, there, she's the one, the queen that doesn't have the, the crown, but this, this queen is capable of creating something out of nothing. Yes, the queen of pentacles is the resourceful one, but I'm really getting here that this is the magnetic one. This is the one that is able to set fire by a tiny little spark because she can ignite anything and she can make anything happen. So once you come into the realization that this person was just belittling you and you cut ties from this, 
you're able to gain your own strength back and fast tracking it, baby. Fast tracking it. I love it. King of Cups, Chariot, Four of Swords. You're, you got tired of feeling like this, so you jetted. He said, peace the F out, man. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm out because I want peace. I want peace. I like it. And look, look at the attitude on this person. She's like, mm -mm, nope, not doing it. I'm tired of it. Tired of your bull shish kebabies. I'm tired of it. I'm moving on. I love it. Giraffe. See the big picture. <laughs> That's moving forward. Moving forward. If you haven't seen it yet, don't just look at this, right? Don't just look at this, look at everything. Don't just look at this, look at everything. Look at the details. Look at the big picture. The big picture matters, okay? The big picture matters because it gives you more details, okay? It gives you a lot of details. Beauty. May you perceive nature's artistry afresh. Really, what I'm getting from this is before jumping into anything, reflect. If you start dating or if you're in any situation, whether it's, you know, a, a relationship, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, relationship, work, blah, 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 you know the whole deal. Um, whatever it is, perceive it in its entirety, like the big picture, reflect on it, meditate on it. How does it make you feel? It's like you're looking at a picture, right? When you're looking at nature, it's almost like you're, you really observe it, right? Because it's so awestrucking, awestrucking all, whatever, you know what I mean? Anyways, you look at it and you're like, huh, I never noticed that or, oh, that's very interesting. That's how spirit wants you to view things moving forward, right? Look at things in its pure depth. Perceive it for what it is, okay? Now, the potential it has, what it is. Motivation. When the spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. If you haven't done this, get busy and do it. Okay? Get busy and do it. Don't focus too much on this. Focus on all of it. And once you see it for what it really is, instead of this, all of this, once you see it for what it really is, and you're looking at it as a whole, be mo motivated to take the right action. What works best for you? Right? What does... Scorpio need to do moving forward. What do they need to focus on for the month of June? What does Scorpio need to focus on for the month of June? Strength. Ground yourself in strength. Root yourself in strength. Do you see how we're talking about being rooted? This person wasn't rooted. Don't be them. Be you. Get rooted. Find your strength.
How do you find your strength? Work on the things that make you feel strong. If this person kept calling you out on your deficiencies and belittled you, take a good look at those words that they said. Are they even true? Are they even true? Take your strength back. You're going to get your strength back by moving forward. Moving forward. Getting away from this situation that makes you feel like this so that you're able to recuperate, regain your strength. Reassess the situation in its entirety. Once you reassess the situation in its entirety, you're going to see that this person is full of himself. And you are far better, far better. All right, my dear ones, that is what I have for you for the month of June. I hope this did resonate. If it did, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so very much. I really appreciate you. Without you, I wouldn't be here doing this. So thank you for making my dream a reality. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until we meet again, have a great one.